Hello there, and welcome to today's moving meditation practice. This particular moving meditation will be focusing on the elements, particularly the elements of spring. As we look outside, we're noticing lots of transformations and changes. And just as those changes are happening outside, they're also happening a little bit inside. And we'll channel those gentle elements in different shapes during our moving meditation, culminating in a seated or a resting meditation for the end of our practice. And to get started here, invitation is to grab a blanket, possibly two blocks. And if you have a bolster or something to sit on, even if you just want to sit up on your blanket, that works also. Take your time, make your way back to your space, and I will see you in a moment. And as you come into your space, take the next few rounds of breath to move whatever pillow you have perhaps around you, moving it a little bit off to the side just for the beginning of our movement practice. And we'll meet on our back bodies. You can take one of your blocks and place it on the right side of your mat and the other block, place it on the left side of your mat just to have nearby and within arm's length reach as you come down onto your back body. The blanket can be how it came off the pile, sort of in a gentle square shape. Or if you need more support for your head and your neck, I'm gonna teach you this to invite a fold to that blanket. But notice what feels best for you. For me, I'm going to come down onto the mat. And as you arrive here in this shape, let's take a moment to settle Make any small adjustments into the shape. Your feet are resting on the earth. Your seat is resting. There's a gentle bend in your knees, or you can have your legs stretched out long on the mat in front of you for this opening centering practice. Just take a moment here and notice where you'd like to land. But the most important thing about this first shape is to remember the connection that we have to the earth. The earth that's always there to support us and the earth that's always there to provide that sense of groundedness. So as you're resting here, notice what's making contact with the earth. Noticing where your feet or heels are resting, where your seat is resting, where your back body is resting, where your head and your neck are resting, where your arms are resting. All of those spaces that are making connection with the earth in this moment. And then we'll start to slowly begin to shift our attention a little bit upward, maybe to our pelvis region. We call this our sacral region. And we'll start to slowly invite in the element of water. Water invites us to break up that feeling of being stuck or stagnation when we sometimes get too grounded. And water also invites us as we start to close out the winter and welcome the spring to begin to move a little bit more mindfully going with the flow. So as you take a breath in, we're taking some gentle sacral rocks. So it's like a cat-cow motion, but it's super small. You might not even be able to see it. So on your next breath in, you're taking a moment to draw your belly button, lifting your lower back a little bit off the earth. Belly button reaches a little bit to the sky. So this is almost as if you're making a cow shape. And as you breathe out, 
take a moment to reverse that movement. Instead, you're drawing your lower back a little bit toward the earth. Maybe you're lifting your tailbone slightly up off the earth. And you're drawing your belly button toward your spine. We'll take that sacral rocking motion a few rounds of breath. So as you breathe in, finding a gentle cow shape, belly button draws toward the sky. As you breathe out, taking a moment to reverse that motion. Inhaling, rocking a little bit forward. Exhaling, rocking a little bit backward. Inhaling forward and exhaling backward. And then come to take a gentle pause, finding neutral, no longer a cow or a cat's tilts. As you shift your attention to your midsection, to that space above where your pelvis region is, kind of where we would call our core, where it resides, as we start to gently stoke our fire. So to stoke our fire for this morning, the invitation is to reach our arms gently down by our side body. On your in-breath, arms reach overhead. As you take your next breath out, come to hug the right knee in towards you, get a little snuggle. Inhale, step the right foot down, arms reach overhead. Exhale, left knee hugs in. Inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, right knee hugs in. Inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, left knee hugs in. Inhale, arms reach overhead. Option on this next round as you hug the right knee in. Maybe you're lifting the head, neck, chest, and shoulders up, drawing the belly button towards your spine here. Inhale, arms reach overhead, step the right foot down. Exhale, left knee hugs in. Option to stay here or to lift the head, neck, chest, and shoulders up. <clears throat> Inhale, arms reach overhead. As you take your next exhale, maybe you're hugging both of your knees in. Maybe you're lifting your head, neck, chest, and shoulders here too, creating like a gentle ball. <clears throat> Inhale, full body stretch. Reach to those fingertips, reach through those toes. And then exhale to soften both of your feet gently back down to the earth. Allow the soles of your feet together and your knees to go gently out to the sides. Reach down and take your blocks and just very gently slide your blocks underneath the outer edge of your knees, finding a butterfly shape here. And we're gonna take this as a, I call this butterfly hugs, but taking a moment and bringing your hands behind the nape of your neck, bending into your elbows. And for the first three rounds of breath, you're taking a breath in, and as you exhale, you're drawing your knees a little bit up towards one another. Inhale to release, open the knees back out to the sides. Exhale to draw the knees a little bit in towards each other. Inhale to release, open them back out to the sides. One more time, knees draw in toward each other and gently release the knees down to the sides. Option to take the upper body with you, almost like you're crawling up into like a little chrysalis here. So breathing in, and as you exhale, knees draw toward one another. They're not coming all the way up, but maybe you're lifting your head, neck, chest, and shoulders up. Inhale to lower. Exhale, drawing yourself almost like a little tiny ball. Elbows draw towards one another. Knees come towards one another. They're not touching, they're just gently reaching to the sky. Inhale to open. And one last time, kind of curling yourself up ever so slightly. Inhaling to open them back out. Taking a pause here, releasing your arms down to your sides. 
inviting your hands to the outer edge of your thighs and drawing the knees slowly through center. Step your feet onto the mat. Reach down and you can either take one of your blocks in the lowest setting or two of your blocks side by side on the lowest setting. We're coming into a bridge shape because we're slowly moving from our fire, which was at our core, that element of fire that can be stoked, to the air elements, which may be associated with our heart. So pressing into your feet, lifting the hips up, sliding one block or two underneath your sacrum, that space right at the top of your, I say right at the top of your butt bone kind of, but roll and rock a little bit here. Make sure that you feel sturdy. If you feel any pinching in your lower back, you may have that block too high, so slide it down slightly. Draw your arms out into the sides into a T-shape or even that cactus shape. As we take a big breath in through the front of our hearts, a big breath out through the back of our hearts. Breathing into the front of our hearts. Breathing out the back of our heart. Noticing the element air that moves us, but also moves through us. The reminder that our breath is always supporting us. Noticing where you feel your breath most in this shape. Option to stay here or to extend the right leg long on the mat in front of you. Maybe reach the left arm alongside the left cheek or the left ear. Stepping your right foot down on the mat, switching sides gently, left leg extends, right arm reaches overhead. the left foot back down, take the right arm out to the side in T-shape. An option here to extend both legs along, maybe reach the arms overhead. If you feel any pinching in the lower back, just step your feet right back onto the earth, making your way back into that bridge shape. Breathing in here, filling up with that air, and breathing out to empty the air out. Stepping both of your feet gently back onto the earth, arms come down by your sides. Press into your feet, lift your hips up, slide the block out and off to the side, and slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. So you land on your back body, pausing here. And then on your next in breath, let's visit the final element of space. And for this element of space is the idea of taking up space, reaching our leg out to the right side of mat, our other leg to the left side of the mat, arms come out to either side, inviting ourselves to take up as much space as we need on the mats and off the mats with a reminder that we deserve to take up space. And then 
and super slowly. Option to stay here to rest, to continue to take up as much space as you need. Or to begin to gently reawaken your body, stepping your feet onto the mat, gently rolling onto your side. Option to gently press yourself up into a comfortable seated posture. If you're still resting, thank you for being here and for resting all of your elements. If you're coming into a seated posture, taking a moment to bring the finger pads towards one another, finding this shape, we call this Hakini Mudra. And the cool part about this shape is that your finger pads can tap against one another, representing each of the elements. And if you want this full explanation, maybe you tuned into the meditation before or not, you can tune into it after. But taking a moment to really channel all of the elements from your thumb, which is fire, your first finger, with, which is air, your third finger, which is space, your fourth finger, which is earth, and your pinky finger, which is water. Taking a breath in here, long breath out as you tap thumb, first finger, third finger, ring, pinky. We'll take one more big round of breath in. Breathing out, fire, air, space, earth, water. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's moving meditation. I wish you a beautiful rest of your day or evening, depending on when you take this. And I hope to see you super soon. Feel free to tune into the meditation now or to take this into some of these standing flows. See you next time. Thanks, yogis.